Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to set up the vote tracker bot, um, configuring reward rules and vote logs or vote messages when user votes, showing who voted, how many votes they have, if their reminders are turned on and off. You can use other placeholders, uh, finding that in the documentation or using the command. Um, I'll, conf I'll configure leaderboards too. Uh, the duration of new posts is 12 hours. You can change that so you need documentation. Um, but yeah, so first we're going to start off with actually adding a different bot called DSL, which is what you need to have in the server to use this bot. Um, for some reason, some people don't have this bot and they're trying to do vote tracker. So I'm just going to do this. Most people will be skipping this, so I'll put timestamps down below. We invited the bot, so now we're going to. Um, post our server that we the DSL server on the website um, so we'll make sure you're in the servers thing go to edit if you're not in the servers your servers won't show up there will be no servers that show up you can do server invite you can do make an invite for me which is I'm gonna do or you can make an invite and post them in there um, you're gonna need a brief description and then you can post your thing, that's all you need. Uh, you can obviously add other things in there, but that's what they're required is to post your thing. So now your server is added. Now we can invite the vote tracker bot. Continue, authorize, I'm a human. Our vote tracker is in here. Now the first command you're going to be using is config set. Um, Config set admin channel. I'll just blank for a second. You can you you need to configure an admin channel to use setup commands. So I'll use that command here. Use setup commands. It won't let you use any setup commands in an admin channel. Uh, make sure the bots can send messages and embed links in your channel because if you can't, that means you're in a private channel. And uh, the heck, just glitched for a second. Make sure it has these permissions to be able to send and embed links. Um, that's including vote logs, leaderboard. If like those are read-only, you're not overriding for those, then it's going to be a problem if you're not giving the bot admin. If you get the bot admin, then it's easy. But if you don't want to give it, you're going to make sure you need to make sure that it can send messages, which is kind of common sense, but some people don't want. It. So the first command you're going to use in admin channel is setup. You're going to be setting up a service, so you're going to use the plus sign. You're doing a server, which is what most people here are doing. So you're going to server top GG. You're going to find your link for your server, which is this. It's the server. You can find it here. You go down. It's already published. It's going to be there. This is your link. Copy it, paste it, and boom, you got it. Now you got to add the webhook to your server. So you're going to go back to the editing portion of your server. You can paste it in the server webhooks. I'm going to copy this, paste it in there, then you're going to resubmit. You added the webhook. Um, you can click test webhook to get a uh, some uh, setup commands, basic setup commands, but it's not working for me, so I'm just going to show you what the basic setup commands are. Uh, so first one we're going to be doing is doing a vote message. Um, so you're going to do VT. Also. If you want to change your prefix, which a lot of people will end up doing, you're going to do config set, set prefix, and we're going to do exclamation point for the rest of the tutorial. Um, there's that. So, first thing we're going to do is config set, um, config set vote message, which is the message that's going to show up. Um, do that. What the title is, I do voted. This is just a template. Um, let me find the vote message oops there we go um gotta find thank you thank you okay this is what i'm going to be using uh it says thank you whoever voted for the server they currently have whatever how many votes they have and what are their reminders it's a basic template to use you can copy it pause the video and post it in um now to see all the placeholders, you're going to have to use placeholders. Um, these are all the placeholders. Um, you can go to the documentation and read it off there. Um, 
make sure to read other commands of documentation because I'm not going to go over every single command because there's a lot of commands and a lot of things I want to keep this tutorial as sh short as possible if you want to use that it's a little better display than a huge embed but there's the placeholders you can use in the vault message now we have to config a channel so it actually sends messages in that channel so to do that you're going to do config set um, the vote channel vote box actually no it's wrong vote log channel you need to use that sub argument so we can fake set log channel vote logs now it's gonna send so let's do a fake invite for me um votes fake at puzzle one um i'm adding a fake invite to me and now look it sends voting thank you puzzle for voting one current vote why is it turned off so now if anyone votes for your server you get a message um obviously you can edit that by reconfiguring a message or whatnot but yeah there's that um so next we're gonna do reward rules if because now you want people getting a role for them voting um there is a configuration that you can do in dcell adding a role it's gonna be right here is adding a role to the uh putting a role in here and it gives the role automatically for 12 hours when they vote um it's not a hundred percent i've tried it in my server it's not a hundred percent um this is so before it wasn't but now their new update it is a hundred percent their reward rules so this i use their reward rules for getting a supporter role um through here so first we're going to do a 12 hour role so when they vote they get a role for 12 hours and then it goes away making them vote again um so and you can do actions or auto rules we're going to be using auto rules in the tutorial um, because it's a lot more user friendly actions is more customizable and it's coding but not really coding um, but yeah auto rules um, then we gotta do add and then we gotta do puzzle or no no what uh, so we're gonna do supporter is the role and then we're gonna do it you have to have at least one vote and then 12 intervals I mean 12 hours is the duration of time um, if you want to look at help all help auto rules sub arguments these you don't have to put numbers on so let's I'll show you um, like let's say I only want a minimum amount of votes I don't want a maximum amount of votes and I never want the vote the role to be taken away you don't need to put like zero or null or nothing you can just ignore it and then put your duration if you want a duration or you can just ignore it if you don't want a duration or maximum votes you just put that because it kind of identifies using key terms slash keywords um so now let's do reward rules for based how many role, uh votes they have in the server um we're gonna do auto rules and now we're gonna do vote five plus five and we want to take it away when they get 10 votes uh and we want them to keep the vote uh the role forever so we're just going to do that gives it when they have five votes and takes it away once they get 10 votes now let's add another one auto rolls add vote 10. now this is 10 and this is we don't since this is the max amount of reward roll that they can get there's no purpose of taking away duration is forever have at least 10 votes it's never taken away there you go and you got your reward rolls done um, once again, you can use actions. Um, I wonder if they have a thing for that. Yeah, so it's not very well explained in here, but you can see the documentation. I'm not going to go into this because it does the exact same thing, but this is what you had. These are actions. Uh, it's a little bit more customizable, but yeah, it does the exact same thing, but there you go. Uh, let's configure our leaderboard channel now. Those That's one of the last ones to do. Um, so we're going to do config set leaderboard channel and then we're going to do vote leaderboard now it's going to be posting just a moment hopefully there you go it's going to be posting a leaderboard in this vote leaderboard channel every 12 hours um i don't know the interval command let me go to see once again you can just go to here config set here it is interval and you can use your interval now let's say I want it to do six hours I want it to 
delete this and post a new leaderboard every six hours. Uh, so you're going to do config set leaderboard leaderboard interval six hours. Oh no, you're not going to do that because I changed the prefix. Sorry about that. All right, now it's six. Never mind. I guess you can't change the interval with a uh, normal one. I uh, if you want to show config set um no nope, config show if you want to show all everything that you've done that's the command to do it um that's your vote logs that's your admin channel your vote leaderboard you can't change the interval the default is 12 hours you must have premium um editing leaderboard i'm pretty sure is also premium and blacklist role is also premium uh this shows your message kind of looks like code but it's not really code uh but yeah uh, shows your prefix and whatnot. Now there is um, a lot more, a lot more commands like toggling reminders, uh, toggling DMs, giving permissions to different staff members with different commands, giving, um, giving like fake votes, taking away fake votes, resetting all votes, um, pretty much giving bonus rolls to test things stuff like that there's a lot more stuff that you would probably read if you want to go more in depth with the bot you're going to need to read the documentation and then if you have further questions join the support server or leave a comment down below if you want i'll answer it um but yeah uh this is just would make it the tutorial a lot longer um i guess i can show your giving votes um this is pretty much all of that um you would want to, if you want to show the user, so votes, how many votes I have, add fake, I used that before, this is giving bonus rolls, and then resetting for everybody, so let's say I want to reset for the entire server, do votes all, res reset all, gives you a 2FA command, and then boom, everything's done, now you can see that uh, I have zero votes, because I had one before, so that's pretty much it, um, pretty basic setup commands, setup stuff, um, once again, join the support server if you have more questions. I'm not a support member, um, but if you want to leave a comment down below, you can do that too. I appreciate uh, you watching my tutorial video. I do have a Discord server. I would appreciate it if you join. I'm just trying to grow my Discord server. Um, it's called the Vent. It's in the description below. I'll leave all the links to all the stuff, like inviting the bot, the documentation, um, and so on and so forth, support servers, um, and I'll leave timestamps down below, and yeah, that's pretty much it, thank you for watching the video.